Welcome everybody to Mole Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Does growth hormone shorten your life? Recently, I watched a video by Dr. Rhonda Patrick where she talks about the trade-off between IGF-1 levels and longevity. To summarize Dr. Patrick's video, more IGF-1 and growth hormone increase muscle size, cognition, and general anabolic performance. And less growth hormone and IGF-1 increase longevity. I guess I should start by saying, of course she's right. Anyone who's looked at big dogs versus small dogs knows that the small dogs live much longer and generally are much ha healthier. The same also is true with people, generally. The centenarians are people with lower levels of growth hormone and IGF-1, and they tend to be smaller people. I guess I agree with all of that, but what Dr. Patrick is not asking is, what can we do to avoid the problems that growth hormone causes without giving up the advantages? One of the things she mentions in her video was that oxidative stress was one of the reasons that people with high growth hormone or IGF-1 levels lived shorter lives. Wouldn't it make more sense to find out what we can do about oxidative stress instead of avoiding growth hormone in the first place? One of the big reasons why growth hormone and IGF-1 cause an increased level of oxidative stress is because they lower hepcidin enzyme levels in the body. Hepcidin blocks the absorption of iron, one of the big causes of high levels of oxidative stress. Wouldn't it make more sense to donate blood several times a year to manage your iron levels rather than giving up the benefits of growth hormone? The other big reason people with high levels of growth hormone don't live very long is that growth hormone causes insulin resistance. But there are many ways to improve insulin resistance, such as taking metformin or berberine to keep blood glucose levels low. Another concern I hear about is cancer, but I just wonder if you controlled iron levels and blood sugar levels, how much additional cancer would you have by raising growth hormone and IGF-1. The biggest risk factor for cancer by far, even above smoking, is old age. One of the things that happens when we age is a drop in growth hormone. We still make enough growth hormone, we just don't release it. Our thymus gland begins to turn to fat around the age of 50. Recently, growth hormone has been used in clinical trials to restore thymus gland function. Participants in this clinical trial are required to take DHEA and metformin to limit growth hormone side effects. A lot of the side effects we hear about, such as acromeglia, are because people are using large doses of growth hormone to build muscle. But if we stick to releasing growth hormone that our body makes instead of exogenous growth hormone, these types of problems disappear especially in older individuals. It is very hard right now to get a prescription for growth hormone, even when most older individuals test low. In addition, the price of growth hormone is quite high, out of the reach of most people. The best way around this problem is to use growth hormone releasing peptides. The most popular of these peptides are CJC1295 and ipamorelin. I plan to do a series of videos talking about how to calculate dose and inject these peptides. I will put these videos in a playlist at the end of this video. CJC1295 attaches to the pituitary gland and causes a small pulse of growth hormone to be released for approximately 40 minutes. If you use the DAC version, it will release over an eight day period. Ipamorelin is a ghrelin agonist, but unlike other ghrelin agonists, it does not cause an increase in appetite. The reason these two peptides are used together is because CJC1295 causes a small pulse release of growth hormone, and ipamorelin causes an increase in the size of the pulse. I will make several other videos about growth hormone, and I will place them in a playlist that will appear at the end of this video. 
It is hard sometimes to find playlists on YouTube, so be sure to click on them so you can find them in your history file. And join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right to subscribe to this channel. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching.